Hi little peoples, welcome to 6th standard biology online class. Today in this class we are going to see the next lesson that is lesson number 16 garbage in garbage out. What do you mean by garbage? Garbage means waste or in Tamil we can say as kalivu purul. In our day to day life we throw so much garbage every day from our homes, schools, shops and offices. How come from these places do we get so much garbage every day? We purchase grains, pulses, biscuits, milk or oil products which are all nowadays packed in plastic bags or covers or tins. So all these wrapped things that we purchase go out as garbage that is we use the products we buy and throw away the plastic covers or tins in the dustbin. So imagine this plastic covers coming from all homes, schools, offices etc. Apart from these covers in homes, hotels and restaurants Cooking is done regularly twice or thrice a day. So waste from vegetable peels, fruits and waste food are all coming out as garbage daily. Also we throw away things that we do not use for too long. In schools and offices we throw so much unwanted paper covers plastic cups etc all again to go as garbage. Apart from this imagine the waste coming out from small industries to big companies all throwing away their wastes as garbage out. Just imagine how we are generating so much garbage in our day to day activities all over the world. In spite of making so much garbage, we often throw many unwanted eatables on public places without putting it in the litter boxes available. For example, we throw groundnut shells in buses or trains after eating the nuts. We throw away the covers after eating chocolates. We throw away plastic plates or cups after eating or drinking in the roadside shops. We throw away the ticket when we get off from a bus. A child for fun will sharp his pencils and throw away the waste. Suppose if we spill ink in our paper, we just tear away the paper and throw it away. Likewise. Many domestic wastes such as broken toys, old clothes, shoes and slippers are just thrown away in the streets or in water as such. People thinking to make their home clean throw away the unwanted things in public places creating a mess. All these cause severe pollution for everyone. And the pandemic situation which is going on for the past two years are all the causes of pollution. Just imagine if the garbage that we have in our homes and surroundings are not removed. Do you think it will harm us? Can you think about the effects? Okay, so now have you heard about Safai Karamcharis? This is a Hindi word which means Tuimai Paniyalarhal in Tamil and sweeper in English. So when Safai Karamcharis take these garbages from the bins, where does the garbage actually go and what happens to it? You probably would have seen huge bulk of garbages deposited in the outermost areas. Now what will happen to this garbage? Is it possible for all this garbage to be changed into something 
that will not harm us can we convert garbage into something that can be reused what contribution can we make towards reuse of the garbage and how can we control garbage coming in and out so answers to all these questions are to be seen in this chapter before that a small information our central government has made a step towards cleanliness all across our country our honorable prime minister of india mr narendra modi ji launched the swachh bharat mission that is sbm the aim of this mission is to create an open defecation free india by 2nd october 2019 the government alone cannot fulfill this mission without the cooperation of the citizens so every citizen has to cooperate to make this mission possible then only we can make our country a clean and pollution free which again is also for the benefit of the people next we will see about dealing with garbage we will see what are all done to the garbages collected you would have seen safai karamcharis collect the garbage from homes shops etc in trucks after collecting the garbages in trucks they take the garbage to a low lying open area called a landfill so what is a landfill landfill is a low lying open area now you see the picture of a landfill it is a low lying open area because if you put the garbage in a high lying open area then due to rain or wind the garbages will again come into the living areas and would again create a mess of garbage and hence a low lying open area is selected for putting the garbage which is called a landfill here in the landfill the garbages are separated into usable garbage and unusable garbage you would have seen that in dustbins itself we are asked to throw the garbages in dustbin separately as biodegradable in green bins and non biodegradable in blue bins here biodegradable means garbages which can be decomposed for example vegetable and fruit peels and waste eatables and food non biodegradable means garbages which cannot be decomposed for example plastics leather cardboards covers glass pieces etc so in the landfills the garbages are separated as reusable and non reusable after separating the garbages into useful and non useful components the non useful garbage is separated out then it is then spread over the landfill and then covered with a layer of soil once the landfill is completely full it is usually covered con converted into a park or a playground and for the next 20 years or so no building or any other construction work is done in this area of landfill so why do we leave this area for about 20 years as such because the non reusable components such as plastics nylons glass etc will take about 20 years and more for decomposition that is why it is requested to use paper bags and paper covers instead of polythene bags and covers now the useful components of garbages are dealed separately 
they are used in making compost near the landfills what is a compost how are they useful we can learn about it from the following activity so the activity is collect the garbage from your house before it is thrown into the dustbin separate it into two groups so that they have group 1 garbage from the kitchen for example like fruit and vegetable peels egg shells waste food tea leaves etc this also includes newspapers dry leaves and paper bags in this group so all these things are grouped as group 1 next one is group 2 this group 2 contains pieces of cloth polythene bags broken glass aluminum wrappers nails old shoes and broken toys now label now divide the contents of each group into two separate heaps now label them as a b c and d that is group 1 has been divided into two heaps as a and b group 2 has been divided into two heaps as c and d so take heap a and heap c one from each heap and tie the mouth of these two bags tightly that is one heap contains group 1 that is garbage from the kitchen you tie that in a cover and another heap from group 2 that is pieces of cloth old shoes broken toys in another cover and also uh, tie the mouth of these two bags tightly now put all the four heaps into separate pits and cover them with soil like they have shown in the figure two heaps are covered in a bag tightly the other two are not covered we are just put in the pit okay so we can also bury these heaps in four pits now remove the soil after four days and observe the changes in the garbage a black color and no foul smell that is no bad smell indicates that rotting of garbage is complete put the heaps again in the pit and cover the soil so after 2 days you again observe what has happened and note down in your observation note so what all the things we have to observe are did the garbage rot completely and not smell rot only partially rot almost completely but still smells bad not change at all now do not remove and burn the garbage that did not rot okay so if the garbage was found to rot completely and did not smell at all then it has become manure that is uram and now this can be mixed with the soil where we have sown our favorite plants in our garden this will provide nutrients to the plants from the activity we come to know that group 1 garbage that is heap a when buried in soil decomposed fully and becomes manure because this group 1 garbage is in direct contact with the soil hence it becomes manure the same group garbage heap decomposes fully but it smells a lot because it has been covered okay this is because it was covered in a plastic cover and buried the plastic cover does not allow the garbage to decompose fully with soil hence the garbage 
rots completely but still smells badly the group 2 garbage both does not compose so what do we understand so we come to know that biodegradable waste when buried in soil decomposes fully and form manure which is used for the plants the rotting and conversion of some materials that is garbages into manure is called composting okay so what is composting the rotting and conversion of some materials into manure is called composting in some cities and towns municipalities provide separate dustbins for collecting two kinds of garbage usually one is colored green bin for biodegradable wastes and blue bins for non biodegradable wastes the blue bin is for materials that can be used again such as plastics metals and glass we again know that these materials that is plastics metals and glass do not rot in the garbage heap the green bins are for collecting kitchen and other plant or animal wastes you know these types of waste rot completely when buried in the soil now you would have known the necessity for separation of wastes into two groups isn't it in the road side we would have noticed that heaps of dried leaves of garbages are burnt also farmers too often burn the husk dried leaves and part of crop plants in their field after harvesting so actually this was a common process because the farmers usually do this after harvesting the grains but due to increase of global warming around the earth nowadays burning of these garbages produce smoke and gases that are harmful to our health and the surroundings so this will increase the content of carbon dioxide again which will again cause global warming and create a hole in the ozone layer that is it will create a depletion in ozone layer which is very harmful for all the living beings present in the earth and we should stop such practices of burning garbages instead instead we could convert these garbage wastes into useful compost and government also has a law against the burning of leaves and other plant wastes anywhere in india so with this we can end today's session and we will continue the next topic which is vermicomposting in the next class so students don't forget to read the lesson till page number 158 before vermicomposting without fail okay and we'll see the next topic in the next class bye students